Pricing methods. CISPRO pricing is designed to provide manual or fully automated pricing for sales transactions. There are several pricing methods available to users, such as manual, simple, extended, contract pricing, trade promotions, and discount types. Those defined at company level are manual, simple, and extended. But which method should you use and why? Let's take a look at three examples. Manual pricing. Bob is a consultant and only offers services to his customers, and the price is determined per proposal. It is therefore easiest for him to enter the price of an item at the time of making the sale, and then applying a discount if necessary. For someone like Bob, manual pricing suits his needs. Across the road is Neil. He runs a larger distribution business with multiple order entry clerks and many products. The order entry clerks are busy and need to be able to process sales orders quickly. There are also too many customers and stock codes to know which price to apply to the different customers. Neil uses simple pricing, which is automated and based on certain codes assigned to the customer and the stock item. Depending on the item, he can use coded, discounted or quantity discounted pricing methods. Neil has three different types of customers, wholesalers, retailers and the general public. Each type requires a different price list. His price list will consist of W for wholesalers at $50 per helmet, R for retailers at $55 per helmet, and P for the general public at $65 per helmet, each defined against the relevant customer account. This is referred to as coded pricing. Staff at Neil's company are allowed items at a discounted rate of 12% off the general public price. This means Neil, using a discount against the account of the staff, can apply the list price less a standard 12% discount. Staff will pay a list price of $57 per helmet. This is discounted pricing. Whilst Neil has a base price for wholesalers and retailers, should they purchase more than a thousand of an item, a discount applies to their base price and changes as the quantity increases. For example, if a wholesaler buys 900 of an item, a list price of $50 per unit applies. However, should they purchase 1,000, then a unit price of $49 applies. If they purchase 1,300 items, then a unit price of $48.50 applies. This is quantity discounted pricing, which form part of a simple pricing method. Extended pricing is much the same as simple pricing, only goes one step further in that you have additional prices that can be applied to an item. Neil has realized that one of his wholesale customers only buys bikes in bulk, but not accessories. He would therefore like their base price for bikes to be the wholesale list price, but for the accessories they must get the retail price. Using the price category matrix, he will be able to apply this. For the bikes, he defines them as category A against the stock items, and for the accessories, he defines them as category B. Then, against the wholesaler account, he defines any stock category A to use the price list W and any stock categories B to use the price list R. For example, a bike will form part of category A and the customer category A, which means that the W price is applied, whereas helmets will form part of category B and the customer category B, so an R price is applied. To recap, CISPRO offers both manual and automatic pricing solutions. It includes methods like manual pricing, as the name suggests this requires operators to manually enter prices and discounts, simple pricing, and extended pricing, which along with simple pricing is an automated pricing method, where prices are used based on what has previously been captured. Within the simple and extended pricing methods, there are also coded, discounted, and quantity discounted pricing codes. Each fulfills a certain function in order to streamline the process.